Hello, my preschool friends, and how are you guys today? I hope you guys are doing good and enjoying our wonderful weather out. Have you guys been doing anything fun outside? Getting some exercise in, trying some games. So, I got a new book, and it's Llama Llama Loves Camping. So, I got my dog, Ziva, laying beside me. She's going to listen to me read. And then later on, I'll try to get Lillian to join me. So she'll just lay on my shoulder while I read. Or in Miss Clara's hair. She got in my hair a couple days ago. That was fun. Luckily, she didn't poop on my head. All right, let's read Llama Llama Loves Camping. I'm excited to go camping tomorrow, Llama Llama tells his friends. He has never camped overnight before. Neither has Nellie, Luna, Gilroy, or Euclid. It will be super fun, Mama Llama says, and Grandma Llama and I will be with you the whole time. Camping is going to be very different from being at home, says Llama. Luna nods. We'll be out in the open, under the trees and sky. And we won't have any kitchen or house things like a refrigerator or an oven or a light, says Gilroy. Euclid looks worried. After all, he loves gadgets. We can't use any machines while we camp, he asks. That's right, says Mama Llama. We're just going to bring the essentials. Essentials are the few things we really need, but don't worry. It's only for one day and night. The next day is warm and sunny as the campers arrive at the campground. Welcome to our overnight adventure in the woods, says Grandma Llama. Llama Llama and his friends cheered loudly. Everyone has one bag except for Euclid. He's carrying two. Don't worry, he explains. I only brought the essentials. That's a lot of essentials, Nellie says with a laugh. See, so he's got two bags. One, two, three. Miss Clara takes like 10 bags. Okay, camper, says Mama Llama. Let's go for a hike while it's still light outside. Euclid pulls a handheld gadget out of one of his bags. I can plug our route into my directional device, he says. Remember, Euclid, Llama says kindly, no gadgets allowed. Euclid sighs. Okay, he says, putting it away. Not using gadgets isn't going to be easy. How do you guys think you would do if you were told no phones? Like you couldn't play your phones outside or you couldn't play tablets out camping? Do you think you guys could do it? Mama Llama leads the campers along a trail in the woods. Wow, says Llama, looking around. These trees are so tall. I wonder how tall they are, Euclid says. Can I measure them with my digital, digital tape measure? Luna shakes her head. No gadgets, she reminds him. Oh, yeah. And I bet each and every one of you have gotten so much taller since we last saw you. When the group gets farther into the woods, Mama Llama asks the campers to stop for a moment. Let's listen to the sounds of nature. What do you hear? Llama pauses. I hear a bird chirping. He says, I hear leaves rustling, says Luna. I hear a tree creaking, says Gilroy. Nellie points to a bee. I hear him buzzing, she says. I hear all that too, says Euclid. And I hear water flowing in the distance. Maybe when this weather becomes nicer, you guys can go outside and you too can listen to nature. See if you guys can hear any birds or bees or I don't know. What else could you hear outside? The sounds in the woods are very different from the sounds at home, says Luna. Yeah, says Nellie. Those are machine sounds. Beep, ring, ring, wee-oo, wee-oo. She laughs at her imitation of a siren. 
Euclid pulls a tape recorder and camera from his bag. I want to make a recording to remember the sounds, he explains. Mama Llama smiles. For this trip, let's just listen hard to remember everything, she says. I forgot, says Euclid. This no gadgets thing is tougher than I thought. It is very tough. Like when I go out camping, I don't have cell phone service, but I still use my cell phone to take pictures. After their hike, Llama and his friends help Mama Llama and Graham set up camp. Instead of a house, they have a tent. Instead of a refrigerator, they have a cooler with ice. And instead of an oven, they have a roaring campfire. It takes some work to camp out, says Mama Llama, but it helps you appreciate the nice things you have at home a little more. Later, the campers eat a delicious dinner around the fire. And now, it's time for dessert, says Grandma Llama, hanging out, handing out sticks. Do we just eat these, says Gilroy? No, says Graham, laughing. You eat these marshmallows after we roast them in the fire. As the sun sets, everyone roasts marshmallows over the fire. They taste delicious, even better than a dessert you make at home. It's getting pretty dark out, says Nellie. It is, says Euclid, but it's pretty nice roasted marshmallows in nature, he adds, with no gadgets. Have you guys ever roasted marshmallows over a campfire? I like to add graham crackers and Hershey chocolate bars with them to make s'mores. Mmm, those sound good. Finally, it's time for bed. Inside the tent, the campers get cozy in their sleeping bags. Once they're all tucked in, Mama Llama has an idea. Let's listen closely to the sounds outside and pretend they're music, she says. The campers close their eyes. They hear crickets chirping. They hear a bird calling. They hear the wind whooshing and an owl hooting. It sounds like they're all talking to each other, says Llama. The music of the forest is very peaceful. As they listen to the nighttime sounds, the campers dr slowly drift off to sleep. I do that too at nighttime. I have a little routine on my phone that lets me listen to crickets and outdoor noises and it helps me fall asleep. It's interesting. In the morning, sunlight streams into a tent. The campers wake up feeling refreshed. Mama Llama and Grandma are very proud of Llama and his friends for spending the entire night in the woods. But everyone is especially proud of Euclid. Good job, cheers Llama Llama. You didn't use any gadgets on our camp out. Thank you, he says. It was a fun challenge. I like the woods. The other campers agree. Are you guys proud of Euclid for doing that? Can we go on another hike before we leave, Nellie asks. We sure can, says Grandma Llama. But first, breakfast. We can use my electric waffle maker, says Euclid. Oh, wait, he adds. That's kind of a gadget, isn't it? He made it this far without using machines. He isn't going to stop now. The end. All right, my friends, thank you for joining me in this reading. Remember to have your parents um, subscribe to my YouTube channel so that way you guys get updates of when I post videos and stuff. I miss you guys very much, and I hope you guys are doing good.